Hi everyone. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Andrea Greening. I'm a senior at ISU, um, and John just asked me to make a little video detailing how I'm doing and what the Lord's been doing in my life and how you guys can pray for me. Um, and so, like I said, my name is Andrea. Um, I'm about to graduate from ISU um, with my bachelor's in nursing, and I've been attending Karis um, for about four years now. Um, and so, what I'm doing right now is um, basically finishing up my degree online um, with for both class and clinical, which is definitely different. Um, and I'm living at home with my parents um, and siblings in Germantown Hills, so about an hour away. Um, and so I thought I would just kind of detail like some things that have been good and then some things that have been hard. So I'm actually going to start with the things that have been hard. I think the main things are I'm just mourning the loss of senior year um, and the hopes I had for it. As some of you guys know, um, some of my friends and I opened up a nonprofit coffee shop at ISU called Adjust Brew this winter, and um, we, yeah, brewed craft coffee and raised money for International Justice Mission, which is the world's largest anti-human trafficking organization. And so, AJB was just really successful and really fun and gathered people really well and was just a cool way that the Lord used us to share the gospel, both in word and deed this semester on campus, and so we were hoping for several more months of that. Um, we were planning on catering some weddings and catering a concert, and we just had a lot of hopes for that, and I'm also just mourning the loss of living in my apartment with my best friends and, um, yeah, some final moments with crew. I've been a leader with crew for the last three years. Um, I've led a Bible study and discipled some girls. So it's just, yeah, not the way I at all anticipated senior year to end. And so I've been learning to not just shove those feelings away and try to be happy, but really to mourn them and to realize that God, yeah, grooves with me and, yeah, understands. Um, another thing that's been hard is just the isolation that comes from not being able to be around people. I'm a big extrovert, and so I've really missed my friends and going to church with you guys, actually gathering. I really thrive in like social situations and so just being at home, only seeing my family all the time is definitely hard um, and I really miss people. And then I think the newest struggle that I've had is just an intense fear and anxiety about the future. Um, it's just not a great time to be graduating from college right now um, with one of the worst job markets and just a lot of uncertainty ahead. I um, was considering spending a year overseas with crew. I've been excited about that for several years and I've always felt drawn towards missions, but decided to postpone for at least a year um, because of just some uncertainty with the pandemic and then also wanting to um, finish up some things with nursing. I have to take my boards um, here in the early fall and I'd like to yeah, experience nursing, get a year of experience under my belt, and then hopefully, prayerfully, I'd love to pursue missions and living overseas sometime in the near future, hopefully longer term, and hopefully when everything with the pandemic settles down. So, yeah, so now I'm just kind of facing, um, yeah, wanting to search for a job and need to figure out where to live and who to live with, and so there's just a lot of things that feel extra complicated because of where we are right now in the world. And so that kind of, um, yeah, is forcing me to trust God, find contentment where I am, and try to cultivate the things he has given me rather than the things that I wish he did or the things I wish were true of my life right now. Um, some good things, though, is um, I've just had more time with my family than I have in years. I never thought I would live at home again. I wasn't planning on it. Um, and we've actually had some really sweet time together. Um, it's like probably the last time the five of us will all live under one roof again. And so I'm trying to cherish that and um, find joy in the little things. Um, my family doesn't normally go to church, um, but in this time of quarantine, I asked them to read the book of Mark with me because Crew is doing something called Mark Madness where we all read through the whole book of Mark together in the month of March. And so um, I asked them to participate with me and they actually said yes and we, the five of us, um, read it every day and discussed it in the evenings together which led to some really good co spiritual conversation and um, just increased bonding too. 
And then when we finished Mark, um, we didn't want to be done reading the Bible together. So now we're reading Romans. And that is something I never would have guessed would have happened um, without the quarantine. Um, and it's always, it's also been um, kind of a cool opportunity to invite my family to go go to church, watch Karis online. And so I've been really blessed by the sermons lately and the worship and wish we could be gathering together in person. That'd be so much better. But trying to receive um, the virtual church and virtual communication as a grace and a gift in this season. Um, and so, yeah, some ways that you guys can be praying for me are um, for me to trust in God, um, to hope in His promises and not in what I like to do, which is ask everyone when they think their coronavirus is going to end and lean on everyone else's predictions and plan according to that. But for me to fully trust in the promises of God, um, I pr want you guys to pray that I find a nursing job that I really like um, and that God can use me in that um, to love my patients and their families and my coworkers, um, and yeah, roommates and apartment, things like that. Um, and then also just in the meantime that I would love my family well, um, be patient with them. Um, and yeah, see the joy and the good, um, of every day and, um, experience walking with God now, not just in the future or when I think, he can really use me, like when I'm working or when I'm overseas or something like that. I want to learn how to, um, yeah, find him in the mundane and in the now. And as an Enneagram 7, I'm just not really into that. And I don't think I've ever really had to be. But the Lord is really stretching me in this season to um, find him here and now. So thanks, guys. Um, I'm excited to worship with you all again in person.